And now we're going to look at a real-world simulation here at the MRAP Egress Trainer here at ITSEC 2010. Frank, if you would, tell us a little bit about uh, the demonstration that we were just seeing behind us here. The, the demonstration that you just saw was an orientation exercise for the crew. What we do first is we orient the crew left and right in their vehicle and show them what the 25 degrees is. We tell the crew that when their vehicle goes up at a 25 degrees, they should be able to recover the vehicle and get it back down on its wheels. However, if the vehicle does go to a 30 degree angle and we show them what that is, then they need to start bracing themselves besides their seat belts to ride out the rollover until it comes to a stop. Once it comes to a stop, then they need to safely unbuckle themselves out of their seat belts and then proceed to the closest exit that has not been damaged by the rollover to egress. Tell me a little bit, you were starting to talk about this being a joint partnership. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, uh, the MRAP program is a joint program, meaning that it is for the Army, Air Force, Navy, and Marines. And depending on what vehicle variants each of those services are fielded, they will receive the cab variant for their vehicles that they have on their installation. I noticed that everything was recorded, so then they're able to come back uh, at the end, and then a field commander is able to give them some type of review then. Is that what the purpose of the cameras inside? Yes, with the after action review area that's up at the instructor operator station, you can hook that up to a recording device, DVD or video recorder, and you can record everything that goes on inside through the six cameras. Once the training session is complete, you can take it into a classroom and replay the exercise for the soldiers for them to review it. That's great. Thank you, sir. Folks, just another true testament here to be able to show that this isn't just about video games. This is all about real-life situations and simulations as well. Another great example here. Thank you, sir, for uh, taking the time to visit with us. Thank you.